Good afternoon, everybody. It's Cindy. And I'm Christine. Candles and supplies. And today we're doing fire starters. So botanical fire starters and everything. So campfire starters and stuff. Camping season is here. So yeah, it's getting I mean, nice here in Pennsylvania. I'm ready. Not even, not even just camping though, like outside fires, right. outside the house, whatever. Fire pit season. Yeah, and this, that, whatever. So yeah. yeah. So these fire starters aren't just for winter cozying up next to your fireplace that you may or may not have, but like outside fire pits, anytime you need to start a fire. So the whole idea behind it <laughs> on purpose. On purpose, yeah. <laughs> By a fire starter is you want to you want to be able to start a fire and get the kindling going and stuff like that because sometimes you'll go camping if you forage for the wood it may have just rained a little harder to light yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Uh, yeah you may not be able to and sometimes it's difficult and really you just want to kick back and relax not and, have to think about it yep drink wine and yeah play fire so it sounds like fun <laughs> all right we've been using fire starters for how long now like 20 since, years yeah since you've been a, a little kid so, so much longer yeah, than that a long time yeah Sometimes we call them magic muffins too, because they're pretty magical. So paper's fun and everything like that. But I've seen a lot of, um, there's companies out there on the market and you can Google this too, where they're using botanicals in their fire starters instead of just like paper and stuff like that, which there's tons of botanicals. So think of dry botanicals, think pine cones, think needles, think, you know, herbs that you dried and forgot to use and now they're no good, that type of thing. Um, anything that's really dry that will catch on fire, you can put in here. So it's anything flammable. I've even seen things like where people use dryer lint and stuff. Um, we originally did paper and stuff, but botanicals are really nice because um, the, the fire starters with paper, I've seen them selling in camping stores for like, I don't know, you get like 10 of them for like $10 or whatever. But then the botanicals, I've seen like a nice tray of botanicals and stuff, fire starters, and you get like four of them for $10. So there's obviously more profit in the botanical ones and you know they're prettier too. <laughs> they're much prettier. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use pretty much anything. Think like pine needles, you I know. Mean, could be like whatever you're cleaning up around. Oh my god. Getting a little crazy with us. But like if you did like sage or something, you could almost call it like a sludging type of fire starter That's true. too, right? Like That's like true. Yeah, that lines. could that could be a whole entire yeah. other live stream. Um, but the whole purpose of this is just that we want something flammable in there to start the fire. And we want the wax to melt over the kindling or the wood or whatever so that it stays. Think fire logs. So fire logs are wax infused logs and you light them on fire and they stay on fire. So that's really what the fire starter is doing. I usually put them down on like a piece of wood or something like that. That way the wood, the wax melts on the wood, coats it, and it just kind of infuses it and burns Smart. forever. Like base yeah. layer. And then you, your base layer, right? So you put the wood down, put your fire starter, put your smaller wood and your bigger wood on there. And then it lights everything up really nice yeah, without even having to think about it. Through. Yeah. And then a glass of wine in my hand and I watch it work. Good to go. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the thing. But they're super easy to make. And it's a great way to use up your extra wax scraps too. So yeah. like we always like we do our live streams. I mean, these are things from like past live streams, just extra wax scraps that we've had along, you know, Valentine's project. We're going to do new Valentine's stuff by next year. Um, extra just, you know, remnants from class. We have extras here. So any type of extra wax scraps that you have or whatever, I always tell people not to throw them away because wax is, is expensive, but this is a great time to kind of use them. So, and even if you're not using them for yourself, sell them to the local campgrounds or something like that. They always run out of that because everybody goes in most camp. I know in Pennsylvania, you can't bring your own wood. You have to get local wood or bring like lumber scraps or something like that. But if they're buying wood, they're probably going to buy a fire starter and stuff like that too. So it's a great add on sale for that type of thing. So, um, and super easy to make, uses up your scraps. You know, you can send kids out foraging for like little pine cones and pine needles and stuff like that, everything flammable. So so the wax that you may have left over from containers could be very soft and sticky. Like, And then think about like if you're packing it or keeping it in your RV or something like that and it gets very warm, it may melt and then you have your whole suitcase or whatever you're packing <laughs> in is a whole fire starter. You may not want that much. So um, yeah, so we usually use something a little harder will hold its form and it also comes out of the mold easier too so you can use anything for a mold so muffin tins um, silicone soap molds even like you know a pie plate put all your botanicals in here we'll do that today put all the botanicals in there pour a short layer of wax in there and that way you can take the whole thing and just crack off pieces as you need to use it and stuff so um, this is more like a weekender so there you go <laughs> a three-day weekender fire starter bring one piece crack it off into bits mm -hmm. and 
and throw it on the fire as needed. Get it started as needed. Sure, but you could fragrance them. You don't have to fragrance them. Mm -hmm. It's an optional type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, throw Max White to have fragrance. So that's true. That's absolutely true. One thing, um, sometimes when you make fire starters and you put things in there, so like these pine cone ones, I don't know, it's probably not ready to come out yet. I just poured them. The pine cone ones are very nice, but I usually pour the wax over top of the pine cone to get it to be a little more flammable. And sometimes if they don't want to light, you can use like a booster wick, like say you're using those really tiny pine cones. And, um, you know, the moment you make a botanical candle, put that in there, it's going to light on fire and somebody's going to sue you. I wouldn't use big botanicals in your botanical candles, but that's perfect for fire starters. But sometimes they don't want to light right away, right? So you can take any like wick trimmings that you have from candles past. So anytime you have to trim your wick and you have those little wick leftovers, right? You can just put that in the side of your fire starter as a booster. So the pine cone ones, I usually stick like a little booster wick in there. That way you can just light the wick and get it going. And you don't have to worry about like keeping your, your lighter underneath the pine cone until it lights and stuff like that. These ones out of paper, they light real easy and stuff, but sometimes the botanicals are a little more difficult to light. So that's, um, I mean, I feel like everybody always trim, you always trim your wick after you cut, after right. you make the candle and you have all these leftover wicks. It's like, right. wasted. Right, that's right. perfect to use for it. Yeah. Especially like wood wicks too. I feel like you always. Yeah, if you trim a little bit of your wood wick, throw that in. So really all that you need is your, Leftover scrap wax, botanicals, whatever you forage for or have around or something like that. So a mold, some type of mold to put it in um, or anything that will release. I've also seen people make them in like egg cartons and stuff. Just stack mm -hmm. your botanicals and egg cartons, pour the wax in the egg carton, put it on a cookie sheet because sometimes those egg cartons leak, I don't know why. Um, and then you can just break the pieces off and use, you know, the little pieces of egg carton because that's flammable too. So um, yeah. what basically whatever you have. So whatever gets the job done. Cool. Let's make some things. Yeah. All right. So I set you up for this, but I'm going to let Christine do this because I was having fun doing this earlier. Mm -hmm. so. Fire starters is a nice kind of thing. If you need to decompress your brain, you don't want to think real hard about wicking and stuff, but you want to have something nice. And these are nice just to make a whole bunch of because it's not like, you know, when you want them, you're not going to make a fire starter like, oh, I'm going to make, you know, we're going to light a, a fire pit tonight. It's not windy, this and that. Well, there's not time to make them, but if you just keep a whole jar of them or whatever they look pretty and and you have them on oh, hand wow. too so. yeah so i start with sort of the muffin tray thing first yeah so with the paper muffin thing yeah so i like the um i like the tin foil muffin cups i but i only use the tin ones so in the foil ones there's like a foil then there's a, oh, a separator well, okay. yeah this one so that they don't stick together and you can't get them apart but i don't like muffins in these because then it sticks so i just use the foil ones and then i save these for my fire starters yeah. You also don't, you don't need those. I feel like it's easier to get them out of the muffin tin, but you don't need them. You can pour directly in the muffin tin too. So. Always like to make things easier though. Yeah, yeah. it's also flammable. So you don't worry about taking it off. Yeah. So you put a pine cone in there. Pine and cone. You're... Oh. I feel like it's always a little bit now. Mm. I don't know. It's uh, lemon verbena. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not lemony. Lemon verbena or something like that. So. Well, that sounds lovely, right? So she's just shoving as much flammable material in there as possible. Pretty much. Just it's the goal. Decorating yeah, it. That's a goal. This is not neat, so yeah. Cover your workspace. All recyclable, so anything that falls out just goes into the next one. So this this one you might not need it much since there's those flammable things, but right. I, like, I like the wick thing. Yeah, Comes you know that it's a guarantee. It's gonna start. Okay. okay. You can see if this one's ready to pop out. Yeah. I literally just poured this one like 10 minutes ago. It's a nice thing about like the silicone molds and stuff too. They don't hold the heat as much as the, the metal molds do. Yeah. I didn't use a wick booster in that because there's enough yeah, flammable botanical exactly. sticking out. But yeah, that's nice. We should have a fire tonight. Yeah, right? It's going to be breezy now. After Ace's doll class. Great. Yeah. <laughs> We, we were going to use our Christmas, so we did some Christmas pictures for Christmas candles, and I brought some pine in and stuff, and we're going to use that in the class, but I, I went to get those. It's really sharp and pokey now that they're all dry. Oh, really? Yeah, they're really, um, yeah, it's very stickery, so not that, the cedar's not as bad, so there you go. <laughs> 
really anxious to be a fire starter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because obviously it's probably not making it to next year for Christmas pictures, so. No. I was going to use it now. Goes back to the earth. Ow! That one got I me. I told you. There you go. This one, this one's fun. Kind of smell herbal when they're burning too. So, oh, these sticks are good stuff. I'm gonna use these as like little wicks around the side instead of using wicks. Like, so you're gonna chop them. Yeah. Um, break them. Oh, these right, okay. Just like. Oh yeah. Yeah, crazy over there. I am. These are fun. These are fun. <laughs> So I'm not gonna, we don't wanna pour the wax in this too thick because otherwise it's gonna be hard to break, so. Sure. Yeah, you don't need something that's like two or three inches thick either nope. for your fire starter. Think about how slow your candles burn, right? And your yeah. wax melts. So the fire starter is gonna last a long time too. It doesn't need to be like, you know, a big 10 pound log or anything. It just needs to be just a little bit of wax and some flammable stuff. And you have a fire starter. Okay. Fire wax. I got our wax. Yeah. Usually 160 degrees to burn. Yep. Oh, this one's green too. This is yeah. fun. Be green. So again, that was left over from a candle class. I don't know how, like I had almost an entire pot of wax left over from the candle class, but we did. And it's now coming into its new life of a fire starter. Yeah. Okay. So when you pour over these, pour over the pine cones to get them nice and waxy because they'll burn longer if you have nice wax coating on them. That looks beautiful, isn't it? I might add some more stuff on there too because I feel like it'll burn a little longer. Get some more more herbs, not necessarily <laughs> more wax. Nice little pot. Yeah, that's our fire starter pie. Fire starter. Cut into slices. I don't know. I'm just I was pie. thinking it makes it easier to pack, right? So. Any botanicals that fall, you can just put right back in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and that's it. And then I, literally it takes, we pop this one out and I poured it like 10, 15 minutes ago. It doesn't take that long. Just pop it's them out this one. Yeah, and package it in bags, single or a bunch of them or whatever. So however you want to do it. And that's your fire starter. You light them. Just on light and them. easy. Right? Nice right. and easy. We're all set for this week. That was nice and easy. So yeah. Mix it up but a fun you. summertime project as we come into yeah. summer and stuff like that. Campgrounds are starting to open up around here and everything. So it's a good time to hit them up. Be like, hey, we need fire starters. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, good luck, everybody. Have fun with this. So. And we will see you next week. Yes. Wednesday for another fun-filled episode. Enjoy the warmer weather. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everybody.